Hey, what's up video editors? Uh, this is Andy VFX and today's video I'm going to give you a link to download the 65 uh, free uh, transitions for Adobe Premiere and also some additional motion graphic templates and uh, some other elements. So without uh, further talking, uh, let's take a look at a quick demo of these transitions. All right, guys, uh, Andy VFX is back. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, quick demo. Let's take a look at how to download these uh, transitions for free. And the number two is how you can use these transitions uh, inside Adobe Premiere. So let's focus on number one, download these transitions. So now uh, you want to follow the link in my video description. Uh, once you uh, download, once you uh, click on that link, you can go to this Envato Motion Bear uh, Transitions and Title page. Wait a second, you said it was free, now it is saying $36. Wait a second, uh, you can count on anti VFX. Uh, all right, so it's uh, for the uh, paid price and for that price you can get uh, more than uh, 1500 plus transitions. But uh, there are uh, 65 transitions available for free. So you need to scroll down here like this uh, if you go over to the all the way down. Uh, by the way guys, uh, even though this was a paid uh, transition pack, uh, it is really worth. So you can scroll down like this and you can see a lot of uh, elements here. And when you go to all the way down, you can see a link uh, free demo pack, right? So you need to click on this uh, free demo pack. And once you uh, click on that, uh, you will get uh, this uh, motion bear uh, page and you need to enter your email address and then uh, they will send uh, you a link to download this uh, 65 free uh, transition pack. So you will get an uh, email like this. You got transitions and titles from uh, Premiere Pro demo, right? So you can click on this link and uh, you can download that uh, transition pack for free. Now, uh, once you download this uh, transition pack, uh, you will get uh, something like this, right? So motion bear transition pack. When you go to the inside this folder, you can see uh, uh, there are tutorials folder and also Adobe Premiere uh, auto save and assets. You can see some assets and uh, you can see motion graphic media templates, right? So uh, you will see a, a file like this. You need to double click on this uh, Adobe Premiere file, right? So once you uh, double click on this, uh, it will open. And if you have a different version, uh, like uh, latest version, uh, it may ask to uh, save it as a different name. So you can save it uh, like uh, underscore one or something like this. And uh, then uh, for whatever reason, uh, if you got that, uh, media offline dialog box uh, you need to uh, click on the locate button uh, and then you need to locate the assets folder uh, in your computer right so this is some uh, i think uh, you already know that how to relink the media when you move uh, this kind of uh, premiere project if you don't know i have already created the tutorial in my uh, anti vfx channel so you can take a look at that so that's how you download this uh, free transition pack. Now uh, we need to know how to use these transitions within Adobe Premiere. Let's go to the Adobe Premiere and see how to do that. Right now I am in Adobe Premiere. You can see I have created a project, a very simple project to demonstrate this to you. And I have added two clips in my timeline. This is a simple two clips. So now we are going to add the transition to this point. First, uh, you need to import the transition to the Adobe Premiere. You can double click on the project panel and uh, you can uh, browse uh, to the uh, your download mo downloaded uh, motion bear transition pack folder. 
this is mine and if you go open that uh, you can see the files you need to click on the motion bear transition pack uh, premiere project file that you saved right click uh, open so now it is importing the project and you will get this dialog box uh, do you want to import the entire project or do you want to import uh, individual sequence in this case you need to select uh, import the entire project and also make these uh, checkboxes on right like this and click ok now it will import the motion bear transition pack to the adobe premiere and in your project panel you can see uh, this folder let's uh, take a look at how to browse uh, these transitions right before you use these transitions uh, you need to see what are you, what is this uh, transition how does tra this transition looks like let's see how to do that uh, you can expand this and you can hold down uh, in here you can see the transitions there are various categories like uh, glass transitions slide transitions glitch transitions zoom transitions you can inside see the transitions like this and also these transitions comes with sound effects so you don't have to spend additional time to add trans uh, sound effects so let's take a look at how to preview it you can hold down the control uh, key on your keyboard and double click on this folder and it will open these uh, transitions in a separate tab you can go to this icon view like this and uh, now uh, you can uh, use this button to uh, scale the thumbnail like this and you can see a quick preview of this transition and you can go to the this uh, uh, bin and you can hold down the control key and double click on the glitch transitions it will open in a separate tab and you can see there are some other uh, two categories and you can see take a look at a preview of the transition all right guys uh, once you decided your transition uh, you can uh, add this transition to the uh, timeline before you add the transition you need to turn off this insert and override sequences as nets or individual clips turn off this what uh, does this do right so this means uh, you can by turning off this uh, button you can uh, import the nested sequences to your current sequence as individual clips right so now uh, if you drag and drop a transition uh, like this so you can see we get the uh, individual clips right so i'm going to undo that and if you have turned on that uh, you will get as a single clip right instead of the uh, individual clips inside that nested sequence we want to turn off this right uh, go you can uh, drag and drop this transition uh, to like this and you can put the transition you can see there is a cut point uh, in your nested uh, transition uh, you need to position that cut with the cut of your video clip and you can release so now you can see we have added uh, let's play this you can see a quick preview, preview like this uh, you can mark the in and out point like this uh, i'll give you a full screen preview and press the control l you can see uh, the preview of the transition and you can see it's pretty cool you can see uh, these transitions uh, render much faster you can if you want to take a look at a smooth playback you can hit enter like this but you can preview these transitions without completely rendering that way you can save a lot of time uh, you can get the idea about how the transition looks like that is how add, how you add the uh, transition if you don't like this transition uh, you can delete these two clips and also the sound uh, sound effect like this and you can uh, go to a different uh, transition let's say we want to add the glass transition you can see uh, if you go to this glass transition uh, section there are fast slow uh, very fast there are various categories let's take a look at slow i am going to drag and drop this and i am going to align the cut with the cut of my two clips and uh, let's uh, mark the in and out point and hit enter so it will render the transition uh, like this and let's see you can see uh, among these uh, transitions uh, there are uh, very good transitions uh, even though it's free uh, if you like this transition pack uh, you can purchase the uh, 1500 uh, full pack hope you guys uh, like this uh, video and enjoyed these uh, transitions if you haven't subscribed to anti vfx uh, please subscribe uh, we do a lot of valuable videos for video editors and uh, social media marketers 
so stay with us uh, subscribe and i'll be back with the next uh, video tutorial thank you so much